कैटल फीड प्लांट अ बैकबोन ऑफ गोवा डेरी गोवा स्टेट कॉपरेटिव मिल्क प्रोड्यूसर्स यूनियन लिमिटेड इज द ओनली कॉपरेटिव मिल्क यूनियन इन द स्टेट ऑफ गोवा वर्क्स ऑन आनंद पैटर्न ऑफ डॉक्टर वर्गीस कुरियन वेन वी थिंक ऑफ डेरी नेचुरली वी थिंक ऑफ काउस बफेलोज एंड ऑफकोर्स मिल्क गोवा डेरी हैज इट्स ओन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लाइक डेरी कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटीज बल्क मिल्क कूलर्स प्रोसेसिंग प्लांट एक्सपर्ट टीम ऑफ वेटनरी डॉक्टर्स एंड कैटल फीड प्लांट फॉर स्मॉल स्टेट लाइक गोवा नाव डेज द कंडीशन इज सच that there is lack of fodder grounds for cattle grazing so ready cattle feed is the only option remaining for the dairy business in goa milk animals are completely dependent on cattle feed manufactured by goa milk union before modernization of cattle feed plant under rk vy the previous cattle feed plant was old plant with old technology so there were frequent breakdowns non availability of spare parts in the market less production capacity because of that we were facing lot of problem which was reflecting in non fulfillment of cattle feed supply in time after modernization of cattle feed factory most of the problem have been solved now i am very happy to say that we are supplying quality cattle feed to our milk producer as per their demand this is modernized cattle feed plant of goa dairy under scheme of central government at marwa sodo uzgaon goa it is the one of the best cattle feed plant in india with computerized batching system and use of advanced technology let's have a look at working of this plant raw material required for production is received from various parts of the country received vehicles are registered at security gate and then weighed after weighing the truck are taken to the raw material storage godown where raw material is sampled unloaded and stacked mentioning gr number the raw material used for cattle feed plant are d oil rice bran rapeseed extractions rice polish fine cotton seed extractions maize chia extractions cereal mixture wheat bran urea mineral mixture salt calcite powder molasses vitamin ad3 sample raw material then goes to laboratory for analysis this is well equipped laboratory of cattle feed plant here various raw material samples are analyzed for parameters like crude protein fiber ether extract ash moisture acid insoluble ash etc these parameters are required for formulation of various type of feed like high protein high energy pregnancy ration calf ration etc this is the new enclosed electric substation with load break switch 630 kva transformer and main distribution panel here we can see the 1 ton wood fire ibr boiler which fulfills the requirement of steam for cattle feed plant this is control room from here all the production activities of plant are monitored and controlled starting from intake of raw material till packing of finished products stored raw material is dumped in the hopper as per requirement of production raw material from hopper goes to required bin through conveyor bucket elevator and cascade magnet in the cascade magnet the raw material gets filtered after reaching of raw material in required bin at top as per the formula fed in the computer batching takes place in batch hopper fitted with load cells one metric ton batch then gets released 
एंड गोज टू ड्रम सीव फॉर सेपरेशन ऑफ पाउडर सेपरेटेड पाउडर गोज टू पाउडर बीन एंड बिग साइज रॉ मटेरियल गोज टू हैमर मिल फॉर ग्राइंडिंग ग्राइंडेड पाउडर रॉ मटेरियल ऑल्सो गोज टू पाउडर बीन फॉर फॉर्मिंग फुल वन टन बैच दिस बैच इज रिलीज टू द बैच मिक्सर फॉर यूनिफॉर्म मिक्सिंग मिक्सड बैच इज देन टेकन टू मिक्स फीड बीन एंड देन टू मॉलेसिस मिक्सर वेर मॉलेसिस गेट मिक्स यूनिफॉर्मली इन द बैच and taken to the pellet mill where pellets are formed by adding sufficient quantity of dry steam at 70 degree centigrade on this final stage ready pellets are hot so they are cooled in pellet cooler after cooling the pellets are sieved in pellet sieve ready cooled fine product of pellets are then transferred to packing bin and remaining powder goes to powder bin again these packed cattle feed packs are then stored in finished products go down and dispatched to dairy cooperative societies as per their demand new unit has made my work easy working environment has become healthy due to reduction of dust feed plant means lot of dust and dust related problems but now after modernization the problem of dust is reduced khup dust kami jalla sa to mhanla ki te vyavasthit samtol ha santulit pen then sagle tak mixing asta te ajhe te vyavasthit cattle feed is essential for good health of cattle and to get good quality of milk we must get feed in time red bar mila mila amka dudha great bar mila earlier we had to wait for feed and do regular follow ups but now we are getting feed on time non feeding of balanced cattle feed gives immediate effect on milk production cattle feed is important for quality and quantity of milk after modernization of cattle feed plant we receive feed on time so as the chairman of dcs i can satisfy my society members amche baki je pale dudkar asa te pen bar mehne jalar amche den As on today, we are getting it, so there is no complaint of feed from other members of my society. On the behalf of my board of directors, all the member cooperative societies, and my staff, I take this privilege to thank the government of India, the Goa government, and Goa government agriculture department, because. they have given us the modern cattle feed plant with most modern techniques and i am very proud to say that this cattle feed plant is completed in record time this uh, cattle feed plant is of 100 metric ton capacity previously we had a plant which was just uh, 15 to 16 metric ton per day because of this cattle feed plant we do not have to work now in shift all the production is taken in one shift because of that the financial burden on dairy is decrease because of this uh, new cattle feed plant there are no breakdowns so the farmers are getting the cattle feed regularly there are no shortages so farmers are happy so we are also happy so once again i take this opportunity to thank the central government and the government of goa and its agriculture department